Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to recap and explain an interesting Icelandic movie called Lamb. The film is in three chapters. At the beginning of the film, we see a herd of horses in a snow-covered storm. Something was charging at them, hence they all ran away. Next we see a sheep barn belonging to a couple named Maria and Ingvar. Sheeps in this barn smell something which terrifies them. They started running away from there. After some time they returned to the barn where one sheep looked injured. It was Christmas Eve. Maria was preparing a nice dinner. Here we see Chapter 1. Now the season has changed, it's summer. We know this as the snow has melted and sheep have no fur on them. Ingvar and Maria were living a quiet life on this farmland. While having breakfast, Ingvar quotes an article and says it's now possible to do time travel. At least in theory. To which Maria replied that if it's practically possible, then I would go to the past. The reason for it will know later. It seemed these guys were not happy, a sense of deep sadness was there. These guys also had a dog and a cat. Maria was preparing the soil for the next crop. Ingvar feeds the sheep as usual. At night these guys deliver a couple of lambs. Maria was happy as this year they had more lambs compared to last year. A few days later she put a tag on these lambs. One afternoon one sheep was screaming in labor pain. Maria and Ingvar helped it in delivering its baby. They were visibly stunned seeing this new baby. Instead of keeping it with her mother sheep, Maria took this lamb to her house. She started treating her like her child. They name her Ada. The mother sheep was desperately screaming for her baby, Maria was ignoring it. She knew the pain of the mother, but yet she ignored it. Since animals can't speak, there was no question of anyone calling DCFS. Maria was happy with Ada and was attached to her like a mother. Ingvar finds it odd, he moved to tears seeing Maria like this. But he justifies himself as it was making Maria happy. The couple found their happiness. Now time progresses, the season changes, it was winter again. All the sheep had fur again, and they smell something which scares them. One day the sheep mother was standing near the house and screaming for her baby lamb. Maria saw that, and she shooed it away. For the whole day the sheep mother screamed, but Maria and Ingvar ignored it. One day Maria was out on the soil, and Ingvar was busy doing some work in the basement. Ingvar forgot to lock the main door. After some time, when both of these arrived, they found Ada missing. They started searching for her. Maria was screaming Ada's name like a possessed lady. Finally they found her near the edge of a mountain top with her real sheep mother. The lamb's mother bought her here. Here we know about the reality of Ada, which was truly shocking. Ada was no ordinary lamb, she was a hybrid. Half human and half sheep. She had the body of a human and the head of a sheep. Her one hand was human and the other was like a sheep. Maria and Ingvar thought of this unnatural creature as a gift and accepted it as their own child. You might think this may be the work of Ingvar, but the truth is slightly different. As Maria was taking Ada back to her house, the mother sheep started following her. Maria screams at her in anger. Now time progresses, seasons change and Ada gets older. She started walking on her legs. Here we see chapter 2. Somewhere down the road from the couple's home, a group of people stopped their car and pulled a man, Patur, out of the trunk and dumped him on the side of the road. He seems to know where he is and begins walking in the direction of the house. At the house, Maria was haunted by the dream of sheep and goats. She wakes up in fear where she heard the mother sheep screaming. At this point, Maria had it, she lost her patience. She grabs her rifle and kills the mother sheep, then buries her body in a shallow grave far from the house. Patur witnesses the scene. Later it is revealed that he is Ingvar's brother. The couple sets up for a meal, and they introduce Patur to Ada. Patur was shocked, confused and curious. He couldn't get what the heck this thing was. Here Patur was broke, he had many episodes of getting himself in trouble. He was here for hiding. Later he saw Maria and Ada taking a bath. He asked Ingvar about this, to which he said in one word happiness. Ingvar warned him to mind his own business. Ingvar later talks to Maria about this, and she is not particularly happy with Patur's presence, knowing he was always getting into trouble. Here it is also suggested that Patur either had an intimate encounter with Maria, or he has just always been too fond of her. Patur stays with the family, but he was frustrated by Ada. One day he was playing drums, which Ada likes. 
Later he tried to feed some grass to her thinking of her as an animal. Ingvar saw this and stopped him. For him, she was a child, not an animal. Patur sadly says to Ingvar that she is an animal and not a child. Later on, while Ingvar and Maria were asleep, Patur took Ada outside with the intention of shooting her, but he cannot bring himself to do it. Maria later found Ada asleep in his arm, while he was sleeping in a chair. Meaning, Patur still had some humanity in him. Ada did nothing wrong to him to take her life. Ada takes Patur as her uncle. Here chapter 3 starts. The time is progressing again. Maria took Ada to the grave of her stillborn child whose name was Ada. Here we see another two graves belonging to her previous miscarriages. Meaning, Maria has suffered a lot. She was desperate for motherhood. Patur took Ada on a fishing ride where he tried to tell her some sheep rhymes, but he remembered nothing. At the house, Ingvar and Maria make love. While coming back, the tractor breaks down, hence Patur leaves it there in the field. After arriving at the house, everybody eats dinner. The adults have a party where they play music and get drunk. Ada doesn't like this, she gets bored, and she walks away from there. Outside the house the dog was staring at something, Ada also saw that which stopped her breathing. It was the same unknown entity, the dog charges at that, but gets killed instead. Ada ran away from there to the barn where she saw her face for the first time. She gets the sense that she is not like her parents. Here we see the family gun missing behind her. Ingvar goes to bed drunk. Patur attempts to make sexual advances toward Maria, who rejects him. He then brings up that he witnessed her shooting Ada's mother, seemingly threatening to tell her and Ingvar about it. Maria took Patur near a room, she kissed him, and then she pushed him into the closet and locked him in there for the night. She removed her stress and guilt by playing the piano over and over again. The next morning, Maria takes Patur to the bus stop with his bags and gives him money so he can leave. He willingly goes and parts semi-amicably with her. Meanwhile, Ingvar takes Ada out to the fields, but as Maria is returning home, she hears a loud gunshot. Ingvar has been shot in the throat by someone or something. It is revealed to be a ram with the body of a man. It was the real dad of Ada. Ada was not the result of Ingvar's misadventure as many guessed. After shooting, the creature takes Ada by the hand and walks away with her. Ada tearfully holds her hand out to Ingvar. Maria doesn't find Ingvar or Ada. She runs to the field where she finds Ingvar close to death. She holds him and asks where Ada is, who did this. But he expires in her arms without telling her anything. Maria cries for him and looks out to the field in despair. Ada was nowhere to be seen. Maria lost all her happiness and her grief came back. With this, the movie ends. So at the beginning, it was the ram who frightened the horses. It was the ram who made it the sheep. Ada was his child. Maria and Ingvar kept her thinking of it as a god gift. In one scene the mother sheep kidnapped Ada and took her to the mountain top. It may be possible that the mother sheep knew where that ram lived and what he wanted. After the mother sheep's death, ram took revenge. An eye for an eye. The wild rule of the jungle. Ram shot Ingvar in the neck precisely to prevent him from talking or telling. As the mother sheep died in silence, Ingvar also died in silence. The moral of the story is one must face one's actions. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Take care.